Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Fujifilm Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about why your Fujifilm JPEG pictures are not coming out good. Before my Fuji XS7, I used Sony A5100 and I never had to change any settings or anything to take nice pictures out of the camera. So I'll show you some of the pictures right now and you'll see that you know the pictures uh, quality were really good and uh, all of these are just right out, out of the camera. I never change anything. Uh, these are not edited. So when I started taking uh, pictures with my Fuji X-S7, I was shocked to see that you know the picture quality was not coming out as good I was expecting. So at first, uh, because th this was my first Fuji camera and I was a little bit doubtful that, you know, whether uh, this is going to uh, give me good picture quality because I don't uh, shoot raw and I don't usually do photo editing. I always try to get everything right, right out, out of the camera uh, because, uh, you know, I spend my time on video. Uh, so I don't want to spend a lot of time editing pictures and everything. So I was shocked to see Fujifilm uh, Pictures were not coming out as good as I was expecting, so I did. Uh, I started doing some research online, and then I found out that you know you have to change some of the settings uh, to get excellent quality picture uh, or excellent quality JPEG pictures out of your Fuji camera. So it's not like Sony that you know you don't have to change anything and you can expect superb quality pictures. What I noticed about Fuji is that uh, right out of the camera without changing any settings, the pictures you're going to get, those pictures are going to have, uh, you know, uh, slightly more darkness and higher shadow tone. So for that reason, uh, the pictures uh, I'm going to show you right now, you'll see that, you know, the pictures, they don't look very vibrant and uh, they're like, you know, kind of like, you know, shadow tone or darkness it's not uh, you know very uh, it's not bright or acceptable quality at least uh, the way I want my pictures uh, they're you know not too sh dark uh, not too shadow and a very nice combination of uh, you know highlights and shadow tone and color so if you don't change any settings uh, out of your Fuji camera the default setting is not going to give you you know uh, excellent uh, vibrant pictures you're looking for so after uh, doing my research and trying a few things, uh, what I found out that you know you have to change some of the settings, uh, very simple settings, it's not a lot. If you open up menu and then from IQ, uh, you will see this section and then the dynamic range is going to be auto, white balance is going to be auto and then uh, the highlight tone is going to be minus one, shadow tone is going to be minus one, color is plus two and sharpness is plus two noise reduction is minus two and nothing else I changed so these are my uh, you know basic settings which I changed and I'm going to put this on this paper uh, right here so you can you know have a look and uh, you can come back to the section uh, if you need to change this and my uh, three film simulation uh, modes are Provia, Velvia and Astia so I set up my each picture to take, uh, you know, uh, three pictures using this uh, film simulation and then I pick uh, or I keep the one which I like most. So the result is, you know, dramatic. Uh, I get excellent uh, JPEG uh, pictures out of the camera and I'm going to show you some of the pictures right now and you can judge by yourself. Uh, however, let's say if you, uh, you know, do not like something uh, mentioned here, then you can kind of change it and play uh, with it and see how you like it. But uh, I did my, uh, you know, uh, homework and I changed these around, but uh, these are my final settings. And this is what I like uh, because uh, I believe that, you know, I cannot get better. Uh, I'm not going to be getting better uh, picture quality out of my camera if I change anything uh, beyond these so I just always use you know what's in here and so this is my uh, these are my favorite settings for Fuji camera system
for watching this video. Forget about subscribing to this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.